Hey everybody, this is Mike Brennan with uh, BB Music Lessons, and today we are going to cover how to swing your eighth notes. Um, this has come up um, all the time with students. Um, you know, how do I take a normal eighth note pattern, straight eights like it's uh, here, and I go into a swing it. I do the same notes, but I swing it. I have a swing feel. So whenever you see this sign right here, it's the bracket with the pair of eighth notes equals a quarter note and an eighth note, but it's in a bracket of a three of a triplet. Okay, so the three stands for triplets. And that means you're going to take a normal eighth note pattern and swing it, make it a, a swing, a shuffle, you know. Um, so let's hear on the snare drum, let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, so that's what it sounds like on the snare. And I always, you know, tell students, uh, you know, since everybody has a problem with rhythm, that is like the biggest problem uh, people have is rhythm. And so what we'll do is before you start, if you're a guitar player, before you start you know, playing um, the piece of music you're going to play, I would actually type out, tell them to type out the rhythm of the pattern you're going to play and understand how the rhythm is played before you attempt it on the guitar bass or whatever you're playing so here's the same pattern what it sounds like on on the on the bass kind of hair it's got that okay so now let's hear it uh, with the drums here's a normal rock beat and we are gonna go into a swing shuffle feel Yeah, and it's always fun um, as a drummer. It's always fun when you're in the middle of a song going to a swing pattern that really freaks out the uh, other musicians. <laughs> I remember this one time brings me to a story. I remember this one time that um, that I, you know, was in a uh, country band and we're playing the song. I can't remember the name of the song, but um, it's supposed to be a shuffle. And for some reason. I went into playing a straight eighth note pattern and what's funny is I didn't catch on to what the song was, uh, but the people started to dance. Now, when they start dancing, you don't change anything. You just keep doing what you're doing because they're doing what they're doing. Uh, but the musicians are looking at me like, what the, what, what are you doing? And so I, <laughs> I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. I played the song a million times. But for some reason, I went into a straight eighth pattern instead of a swing pattern. I'll never forget that. It was funny to, to see the uh, the look on the uh, musicians' faces, <laughs> but it worked. So uh, I caught a little bit of hell out of the, after the gig. But uh... <laughs> all right, so let's uh, take a look and see what it sounds on clean guitar. So I took an uh, E minor chord, and um, and this represents doing down and up strokes. So um, let's listen to what that sounds like. Yeah. So let's listen to what it sounds like all together 
but not yeah let's let's take a listen yeah now i always think it's, it it makes a song you know if you're jamming a little to make your jam a little more interesting is to have everybody go into a shuffle pattern and back into a straight eighth pattern it sounds pretty cool um yeah so another way you are going to see let me do this another way that you're going to see um a triplet thing you can actually do this uh, well let me to make it easier let me go back to the snare drum and um so here's another way this could be written but it's exactly the same thing and what i'm going to do is take that i'm going to go up here and say insert a note um and that way we have our eighth note uh rest in the middle and i'm going to go up here and click on triplets and i didn't make this a triplet now to save some time i'll cut and paste it yeah if you always want to add notes in this program you either have to enter a note before it or after it that different note value so this so this thing um let's uh, repeat it a couple times uh let's do this so you can really hear the five times all right so let's, let's take a listen to this or uh, let's do this let's take this off uh yeah, we're gonna cancel that uh take this off take this off now you can uh, see how these two things even though they're written two different ways sound exactly the same Um, so there you go. So that's how you swing your eighth notes. Um, and so I would always, uh, you know, always tell students, try to play the song you're playing in different fields, you know, go through a rock feel, um, swing the song, maybe play in a jazz style, uh, reggae style, you know, uh, I remember when I was taking lessons with uh, Greg Bissonette, uh, back in the day, um, and, in the la um he was playing with dave lee roth at the time a drummer for dave lee roth on the eat him and smile album with uh, some really killer players that had uh steve Vai, um billy sheehan on bass and uh greg bissonette on drums and of course dave lee roth singing but um he would always ask us in our sessions uh can you play like this person? Can you play like that person? Can you play this with that feel? Can you add a Latin type feel to it? Um, and, you know, the answer is no. <laughs> so he would show us how to do that. And so it's very helpful because you never know when you get on a gig. Um, I've had this happen. The conductor turns around. Let's do let's do this song in a, in a reggae feel. All right. One, two, three. You know, they start counting. And you're either aboard the boat or you're not in the uh, so, you know so thank you for watching um and hopefully we'll see you again soon